Hello there everyone, I'm Cloud Nebla and today I welcome you to an adventure, point and click, dramatic game, The Kite. Before playing, I want to say that uh, we'll deal with some mature themes, like family abuse and alcoholism. So in case you're quite a sensible person, or you want to see more funny gameplay videos, even though uh, I try to stick in some jokes here and there, I uh, suggest you to see another video of mine, there's plenty of stuff to laugh on. This time around, uh, I want to deal with something uh, that uh, we often uh, put in the shadows, like this kind of stuff, family abuse and such. So, if uh, you're still here, let's play. Made by Anati Studio. So, sometimes I want to, to give uh, something uh, more to my audience like you watching i like playing funny games and horror games but sometimes i want to see other parts of the real world usually we use video games in order to escape the reality and it's quite paradoxical that uh, we play a game to see what's going on for real something that sometimes uh, may go past by silence actually so this time i want to give a voice to all the people that live in such a situation of silence they try to escape and maybe we'll talk about it a little bit later for now on let's start with this game okay this is our generic point and click instruction so let's start with this okay i'm a single not a single mother all right nice house a little bit gray but you have a nice dress too all right it's all a little kiddo hello there how are you angie I'm hungry, give me something to eat, please. Oh, what a nice boy, actually. Oh god, I have nothing to give you. Really? You have nothing, like, really nothing? <laughs> I mean, you have plen quite some stuff in here. I mean, you could give him something. You could sell this carpet. So as you can see, they're quite living in a mm, poor situation. Although they have, some, they have plenty of stuff. Huh? <laughs> they can't use it, okay. All right, so we got uh, a jar, it does not work, and some pins, pinch, pinches, something like that. Okay, let's see. Let's uh, try to give something to eat to our kiddo here. Let's see, there's some bread. All right, we have nice bread. Maybe something in the oven. You forgot to empty? Empty cupboards, okay. Okay, so we also deal with poverty. All right, of course. Usually this kind of problems comes when you can't afford other stuff. Uh, you know, rich people usually don't have this kind of problem. Or average uh, wealthy person. Frozen fir firmly in place. I'm laughing, unlucky enough, uh, you know, to never had uh, the lack of food. I'm one of the fortunate people that can say that. So, yeah. It's not something that we should give for granted, actually. Okay, creepy carry-on. Our son is a little bit creepy, too. Can I stay in there? At least play with the, the soccer ball, you know? <laughs> Sometimes I, I wouldn't be surprised if some at some point it will become a, a sort of demon baby or stuff. Alright, do we have nothing, really? Okay. Okay, we have water, so at least we have something. Empty, empty, empty. Really? There's nothing? Okay, I guess uh, there was some gem left in that... Uh, uh, in that jar, so I guess we will give this delicious slice of bread with jam coming right at this kiddo! Who's the prettiest boy in here? Who's the favorite kid of mom? Like, and the only one as well. Alright, so let's move on. It's, it is probably Oleg. Oleg, back to work. Alright, I guess I'll better invite him. You can eat that, you know, kid. <laughs> Just here in there, okay. Alright, maybe you want to watch some TV? It, yeah, boobs and cars and violence, okay. <laughs> That's all we we need to know. Alright, uh, no more TV for you. <laughs> the only three channels. Porn, 
supercars, uh, politics and... Uh, supercars, did I say that already? Hi there, husband. Oh, you look very happy today. Yeah. Hello, how are you? How is your new job? The same as always. Terrible. Alright, but at least you can be so be a little bit more happy. What should we do? We don't even have enough food for our child. And he leaves. Okay, this is the kind of situation, huh? The kite. Andrew's favorite toy. Okay, so that's where the name comes from, actually. I have no reason to go out. Well, you have quite some reason, actually. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we have. There is something in the pocket. Looks like a piece of paper with numbers on it. Can we pick it up? No. Okay. Alright, so I guess uh, we will have a little talk with our husband, shall we? We're already starting so great. Ah, uh, this is getting very real, guys. Hope you brace yourselves and bear with me this. What are you doing? Masha, don't piss off. Oh, come on. He's already drinking. You won't find the answer to your problems at the bottom of the bottle. I cannot cope with it. Maybe I'll get fired, assholes. This fucking test, fucking numbers. I hate my job. Oh, that's what the paper was about. So, first tip. If you have an alcoholic person in the home, you should get help. In general, you should get help any chance you have. Sometimes, the, the, the major problem with, like, alcoholism and possibly family abuse, I don't know if we will get to that point, but the main problem is breaking the silence. You know, maybe being scared or ashamed of the problem. Not only from the uh, the victims, but also the you know the ones that are actually involved in that uh, should really take in consideration to take advice and help, even though it's the hardest thing to realize actually that you need help. But also, most important, the victims too. So it's always important. Like uh, I don't know if you have had any kind of these problems. We can count that as bullism and uh, all the stuff. That always needs to be, you know, discussed openly and uh, try to get up as much as you can. You know, the real mistake here is actually uh, not doing anything, which is also a, a thing, uh, a very good advice for other parts in life. Like, you know, try to do something that you like and stuff, not only about these problems. Uh, but I think we'll talk about it. when I solve this puzzle, I guess. So we have Testo Microblock, MSA, uh, My Marco, <laughs> Mirko State Electro, okay, Ukraine, alright, we're in Ukraine, the number of matches 5, P factor 19, okay, let's see, 289, oh, I get it, so we have to find the 5 matches, that makes 19, I guess, because 2 plus 8 and 9 makes 19, man! I, this is so easy. What? Uh, how could you be so drunk not to <laughs> complete this puzzle, motherfucker? Okay, so there are five matches. You only got two. God damn it! All right, uh, I think uh, this will take some time actually. So I uh, will see you in a bit then. Okay, so I found uh, two more. I only missing one. It's not that easy actually. So the first one I found is eight three eight here, and then six six seven here. Almost the number of beast. And I'm missing only one, I guess. Alright, uh, it's time to look more in deep into this. Alright, here's the last one. Okay. So hopefully this will make things a little better. <laughs> actually. So let's see. I should tell my husband and suppose Man, <laughs> please hit that. It's the only thing we have left. <laughs> Come on, man. Yo, man, I did your job, you asshole. What are you doing? Uh, drinking again. Son of a bitch. You won't find the answer to your problems at the bottom of the bottle. Okay, I think we just heard that, actually. Fucking numbers, I hate my job. Well, you should get over it, though. Take that. Ole, I did it. Stupid son of a bitch. You? Unbelievable. Oh, fuck off. Don't drink anymore, please. Masha, don't piss me off. Okay, you're already an asshole. Although, in a way, you are kind of a victim in this game as well. And in the game of life, I mean. So, yeah, you're still an asshole. 
and you should get over with. Not with your life, but uh, with the problem of alcohol. Okay, should I... Okay, take the bottle then. Put that back where it belongs. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Uh, a good advice I would give uh, to anyone who finds himself in this situation is also learning uh, how to defend yourself, like martial arts. Okay, what can we put it here? What are you doing, bitch? Oh, fuck off, it's for your own good. Okay, and we came to the part of family abuse. Poor kid. Uh, I'm so glad I didn't have to experience this. Ah, shit. You know, guys, uh, as much as terrible it can be, it's something which should deal with, actually. Am I playing as a kid now? Okay, yeah, better get out of here as quick as we can. And here's the kid. So yeah, hopefully we'll have a nice life. Uh, well, at least to put for a mother too. But yeah, the best thing you can do is like uh, be careful to see the signs of that in some uh, other person that you know, actually. You know, uh, like the most obvious one is like... Uh, Injuries, uh, I don't know how to say that uh, the, when it becomes almost black on the skin and uh, Or tiredness uh, Always be aware of that if you notice someone like try to talk with them Rather than avoid it. I know it's difficult. I, for me. It's mostly difficult actually but it's something with uh, We need to you know, maybe try to Be more present with that with a person that needs our help actually Okay, we have... maybe we can fill it up with water, actually. Even though I don't know what we will use it for. But okay. <laughs> the good thing about the point-and-click games is that you never know what uh, when uh, an item will be need. That fucking asshole. Okay, do you have something to hurt him, actually? Like a, a wrench or this one also? We could pull his teeth off. This... Probably they would think quite twice about uh, leaving, uh, leaving, yeah, or well, drinking. Maybe we can. No, we can't break the ice. Perhaps this one. Can we pull the knife from here and s not stab him, but I guess injure him a bit. Okay, we found something. Perhaps. Okay, matches. Don't tell me you want to explode the house. Actually. Okay, we. Op uh, open the fire, yeah. <laughs> we turn on the fire. We're gonna make uh, some boiling water. Hopefully you want to burn your hands, actually. Okay, and we put it in here. <laughs> of course, right in the refrigerator, okay. Right, okay, we grab these. And I think now we can unscrew this. Alright, alright girl, we can do this together. Now that we have a plank, perhaps we can use it uh, against the door? We can knife him? No? Hmm. Interesting though. Okay, found something. So looking at the, the bottom of the door, there's a gap here. I can stick something thin through it. Like this, uh, for example. And try to lower... Hmm, I see. And he didn't notice. Uh, okay, I'll keep... Uh, I will keep the knife up, you know. Where is our child? Do you hear me? Nope. I need to draw his attention away from the TV somehow. I mean, lady, I don't think this will work. I guess you better go out. You know that. It's not like uh, you need him for something. You better leave him be. And you take a better life with your son. Away from this motherfucker. Did you want to actually? You know, okay, nothing. Uh, okay, actually, I, if I not have to, I won't turn off the TV since uh, it's quite nonsensical, I think. I guess uh, if she does that, he will beat her up again, so I guess it's better not to do that. Uh, okay, what do we have here? Is that tea or something? Do we need to open that? Okay. 
I grabbed something that you don't even know what to do. Whore? Okay, is that a, a whore for real? Or just... Uh, you think so? Okay, wooden plank. Luckily this game tells me what I need to do. Oh, hey guys. I don't know if there were other people. It's a bad idea. Probably. Probably. Last time I saw... Oh, it was on the roof, I think. Uh, although this... Old man seems kind of nice, I have to say. We have uh, a pocket, and we can open it. No. With the pinchers? No. Okay. Hey there. What's up, dude? It's hard to be a good man this day and age, isn't it? You have to be hungry, hungry and tough about what you do. You either hit or be hit. There is no mercy or justice. And it kind of is, though... If you go together, you can have something good, actually. A cat. Can I pick the cat? I can't pick the cat. <laughs> okay. Never mind then. Sorry, kid. Kid. Yeah, kid. Kid. Kitty. The box. I wonder how it got he there. There is something useful inside. Okay, can I throw something at it? A knife or a plank? Or another box? Because, you know, <laughs> box attract each other. For some unexplained physical reason. Probably need something long. Uh, made of wood. And no no jokes. Okay, this... Oh, hi. Excuse me, how can I get to the roof, uh, you sailor man? Why do you want to get there? Um, I just need... Uh, I like to smoke on the roof. Do you have a cigarette? No, I don't smoke. Too bad. Okay, well, that won't be, wouldn't be a good idea. Either way... Oh, because it's locked as well. Okay, I mean, just uh, stealing stuff <laughs> for no reason. Is that something I could use? No, we, I have all kind of boxes, though. I don't know what to do with them. Another box? Too heavy. Okay. Well, why? I mean, you're carrying so many of them, actually. Okay, there's the padlock. Yep. Okay, so I guess I will have to find out the secret then. Is that something here? Rubbish, shoot. Okay, perhaps after all I will have to talk to them. Guys, do you have a cigarette? Will you dance for us? Ha, <laughs> ah, jerk. Go the f get the fuck out of here. Hmm, maybe, uh, can I talk to her? Perhaps would be better. Yeah, well, it's just a bunch of assholes in this place. Uh. But the, I guess... Uh, Place like this are always the same. Can I ask someone? Hey, hey there. You look very happy too. Hi. Can you help me? I have enough problems to my own to deal with it. Okay, thanks very much. Can I talk to the whore? At least like, she could help. Not in that sense. I guess uh, she could understand the, the the situation this lady is in. Okay, I think I'll try to... Oh, 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 and if I search his pocket? There could be some cigarettes in here. Oh, maybe this is tobacco, actually. Could be. Hmm. Huh. Okay, I'll try to turn off the TV, even though I wouldn't do that, actually. Do you want more? Yeah, exactly. I thought it would react like that. Is there something useful you could use? By chance, uh, aren't you smoking as well as drinking? That would be helpful, for instance. Alright, don't think so. Okay, maybe I can ask... Uh, oh, the old man has some uh, cigarettes. I forgot. So, guys, as I was saying, uh, the main problem here is... Uh, I mean, the main measure in order to get out of this situation and to help others is breaking the silence and get help. Okay, old man, can I have your cigarette? Hello, do you have any cigarettes? Smoking is not for a nice girl like you. Oh, this is not for me, it's for my friend. If I see him, then maybe I'll give you a cigarette. That's another request. Okay, that's... yeah, that's really weird. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if he is willing to get out. I don't think so, though. Okay, so I placed the box here, so the cat, for some reason, will jump in there, actually. Maybe. Okay, let's see if this time will work. So I put the other 
box in there, so perhaps this time the cat will go over there and hand me the other box. Let's see. Maybe I can place this one here? Yeah. Okay, so you have no place to hide now. And boom, for some strange physical reason, the cat is attracted to the box on the top. Alright. There's a camera in here. Uh, okay, sure, because everybody leaves a camera in there. And they take a picture of you. Throw this photo out now. Does not work. Okay, never mind, I guess. <laughs> I guess, okay. Alrighty, then we have the photo. Although this seems weird for the dude. Okay. I guess you don't understand. I said throw out a picture. Okay, in the trash bin then. There you go. Oh, over here, of course. Yeah. Take take the picture, ma'am. There's the picture in there. Come on. Use the plank or something. Okay. So with, now that we have the plank, so we won't get any disease. We can actually take the picture. All right. Going through. Uh, woman, I have to say, you live in a very shitty place, actually. You should uh, get out of there as soon as you can. Alright, we got the plank, we got the picture. And now we will have the cigarette and then uh, the roof. Then I'll keep it, then we will go out of here in another place. Ah, I don't feel sorry for him. Take it. Okay, thanks, uh, I guess. Okay, I think I have already the secret from you. Right. Okay, thank you very much, old weird man. Now that we have the secret, hopefully the kid will be still be there. I hope. You assholes. Everyone is an asshole in this place. Okay, is your secret brother? Asshole, again. Wow, cool. Yeah. Okay. It just went out. Of okay. Uh, what was the name of the son? I don't remember. Andrew. Okay, I guess the son is not here anymore, actually. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so we can use the TV, actually. Hello, man. What? Can I grab the key? Yep, his car. Oh, his car keys. Okay, that's strange. Um, right. So I guess uh, we will have to take the, the thing. Uh, the... St the how do you say the stairs? Not the stairs. I don't know the name. Uh, I think we're gonna ban some. This is not our antenna. Okay, we will have to ban some of these. <laughs> For some people watching uh, that actually did nothing, uh, will be a bad day. I don't want that guy to ask me questions. Can I throw it away? His keys. Okay, maybe if I actually do something with this car, it will come down. Okay, there we go. Alrighty then, that's nice. So now we go go undisputed and uh, unaware, <laughs> actually to go and break the antenna. I don't know why I still want to get his attention since he's an asshole. But still, okay, I'll do as you wish. Although that won't solve the problem, probably. Maybe he will know where he is. Or maybe I don't think he will help. Screw to the wall. Okay. Use this. Oh, oh, here's the, the the kite. He's in there, lady. Go after him. Yep, the kite. This is probably Andrew. Yep. I don't think. Yeah, of course. What the hell are you doing here? Who the fuck do you think you are? Uh, someone who has a knife is not afraid to use it. Ole, please take it easy. Our child is on the street now, alone. Don't tell me what to do, it's you to blame in all of this. Oh, fuck off. You're the one to blame. What's wrong with you? You don't care about anything. You don't care even about on our, our own son. Oh, don't tell... Oh, fuck. Use the knife. Come on. I mean, in this case, you also have the law on your side. Oh, finally. All right. Now we're talking. Maybe just a wound, but okay, you know what? Oh my god, what have I done? Uh, you know what? I think I'm quite on your side, even though probably it would have 
been sufficient to actually injure him and not kill him, perhaps. But, yeah. I think you gave, uh, like, a quick uh, <laughs> solution to the problem. Maybe you should wash your hands before going down, down watching for your son, actually. Okay, conveniently nobody's watching. Okay, this is kind of weird. Although I'm afraid that she could pass for the bad person in here now. Because there were no people, uh, how do you say, tests watching. Someone who can uh, like sh actually uh, confirm that she was abused. Can you wash your hands? Your clothes? No? T you don't care at all? Okay, you don't care at all then. Alright. You know, you can never stop... Uh, a mother especially, not all the mothers, but the mother instinct will always uh, go f to save her son. It, usually the fathers should be as well, but uh, in this case, uh, I was not. Uh, I still think you should wash your hands, lady, I mean, like uh, you will do really yourself a favor. Okay, save the game, but at least we got rid of the asshole. Okay, we have a crowbar. I wonder why she pick up all these things, actually. I'll get run over. Okay, can we... Can't reach? Okay, so you're also a programmer? Oh, okay. Oh, they're broken, actually. Do you want to smash them? Okay, open them. And then... Uh, grab the pieces. Probably need to find some other lights, sir. Uh. Hmm, something here actually? The electrical panel. Maybe I can open with a crowbar perhaps. Alright. Let's see, maybe I can cut off the power. Okay, now it will go over here for some reason. Okay, these are the wires. Hmm. Maybe I need to open this. Let's see, maybe I can put the wires in. Too short. Will this one work? Too short. Maybe I need to... No. Hmm. Oh. Oh, okay. I got the light bulb. Oh, there were some wires uh, in the house. In the hood. Here. Yeah, that's right. Elevator bottom torn from the walls with wires. We could use them. Don't tell me it's too dangerous, ma'am. You have gone too far. Luckily, they have, for some reason, the same uh, thing is. Okay. So now we should be able to turn on the power again. I mean, she's a wonder woman, actually. She knows how to do stuff. I wouldn't even dare to try. Okay. Uh, let's see now. Let's open this. Okay, connecting these ones. And then probably this one? No, I think uh, probably this one will be... I need a red light. Mm, yep. Okay, do you want to use the blood you had? Actually... <laughs> That could work. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Alright. We have the red light. Nobody will notice that it's, of course, made of blood, but who cares. So I was right to use the blood. Okay. Oh, f fuck. Really? Really? <sighs> I guess this is another good reason to leave then. Well, shit, <laughs> this has gone so bad. Ah, fuck. Although he's alive. And all of a sudden, he was alive. According to various scientific studies, the violence in some of its absurd manifestations affects almost in one of four families. But a third part of murders are committed in the family. Of course, the vulnerability of women in families is great, but even more vulnerable are the children. Innocent creatures who just fall in the heat of the moment. And sometimes also men, you know. It's true that uh, mostly are women, but also men can be victims of this as well. 
although we are all responsible to do at least what can we do actually with them help them as we can and also help them break the science and actually go to the police and uh, file an allegation against uh, the violent person they're believing with uh, as well the kids uh, you know should be also helped uh, since they can't help themselves yet and yeah they usually take the worst of the abuse uh, yeah that was the game so these are the people that made this uh, uh, really great job guys it was very very heavy stuff dramatic uh, but also en enjoyable in some way to play and also I really hope that uh, I could uh, give you something uh, in return uh, spreading this game as well and I hope that I gave you something too guys watching uh, guys and girls of course uh, so yeah uh, if I had to leave a message uh, you can take it or not I mean is to actually mm, try to open your eyes a little bit more and check out if someone is in need of help uh, not maybe not necessarily in these extreme cases but also in the everyday scenario there's people that could need your help too so i uh, thank you very much for watching feel free to comment like subscribe and let me know in the comments what you think of this game very congrats to the developers for making this hopefully we'll make uh, some other games uh, of this uh, uh, quality actually it was a uh, very good uh, uh, animations and uh, style as well art style and especially the story was great so really congrats on that and uh, yeah really the, wish you the best of luck in making some more games and yeah to you guys and girls watching we will see each other again in the next video i will make something more cheer up i hope and remember if you can't sleep the clowns are gonna eat the good night